A senior commander in Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps claimed his country has the most advanced missile technology in the Middle East. Today, we rank first in the missile technology at the regional level and are placed among the few global powers in this regard, Brig. Gen. Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the head of the IRGC Aerospace Force, was quoted as saying Sunday by Press TV. Hajizadeh claimed Iran was the leading regional power on drone technology and said the IRGC's downing of a U.S. unmanned aerial vehicle, UA, in June showed the capabilities of Iranian radar and air defense systems. We shall stall and lag behind the enemy should we stop pedaling. Therefore, we need to go ahead with our deterrent activities in a round-the-clock manner and also make every effort and boost our military capabilities," Hajizadeh said. The IRGC general has previously talked up Iran's military prowess, saying last year that Tehran is capable of extending the range of its ballistic missiles beyond its current 2,000-kilometer limit. Earlier this month, Iran unveiled three new precision-guided missiles, with its defense minister saying they show that the country is ready to defend itself in the face of U.S. viciousness and conspiracies. The new lineup of air-to-air -air missiles dubbed the Yasin, Balaban and the new series of the Gein were developed jointly by the ministry and SA Iran, also known as Iran Electronics Industries. They were unveiled amid tensions between Iran and the U.S. and its allies in the Strait of Hormuz, a vital corridor linking oil-producing countries in the Middle East to markets in Asia, Europe, and North America. Tensions spiked a year after the U.S. withdrew from a 2015 nuclear deal between Iran and world powers and began stepping up a campaign of maximum pressure on the Islamic Republic. In pulling out of the deal, U.S. President Donald Trump in part faulted the accord for not addressing Iran's ballistic missile program. The U.S. fears Iran could use its missile technology and space program to build nuclear-capable intercontinental ballistic missiles, something Tehran denies it wants to do. However, a U.N. Security Council resolution was passed at the time of the 2015 deal's signing prohibiting Iran from testing ballistic missiles capable of carrying nuclear warheads. Last month, Iran was said to have tested the Shahab-3, a medium-range ballistic missile that is widely believed to be capable of delivering a nuclear warhead. Iran has maintained its missile program is for defense purposes only and rejected negotiations over it. Ballistic missiles are a critical component of all nuclear weapons having countries' arsenals. A deliverable nuclear weapon requires three components, enriched fissile material, uranium in Iran's case, a delivery vehicle, usually some sort of missile, whether fired from land, sea, or air, and a warhead that integrates the two. For this reason, ballistic missiles cannot be separated from the nuclear issue because they are the primary launch platform for any nuclear, chemical, or biological warhead. Therefore, all countries that have developed or sought nuclear weapons also develop long-range ballistic missiles. It is clear that the only reason for Iran to have advanced ballistic missiles is to deliver a nuclear bomb, no other weapon justifies the cost of developing a missile.
Speaking to the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence in 2011, Director of National Intelligence James Clapper made clear that ballistic missiles would be Iran's likely preferred method of delivering nuclear weapons. The Nuclear Threat Initiative has concluded that Tehran indisputably possesses formidable weapons delivery capability, and its ongoing missile program poses serious challenges to regional stability. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, in the early 2000s, when Iran was known to have conducted nuclear weapon design and weaponization work, Iran studied how to integrate a nuclear payload into the reentry vehicle of a Shahab-3 ballistic missile. On October 10, 2015, Iran test fired a new guided long-range ballistic missile named Emmet. The missile is an improvement from Iran's Shahab-3 missiles because it can reportedly be guided toward its target. Then on October 14, Iranian state television broadcast unprecedented footage of a deep underground tunnel packed with missiles and launcher units. Evidence of another missile test emerged on December 7 when Fox News reported that on November 21, Iran carried out a medium-range ballistic missile test. The missile, known as a Gadr-110, has a range of 1,800-2,000 km and is capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. In April 2019, Israeli ambassador to the UN Danny Dani alleged that Iran had carried out a test launch of a new and destructive variant of the Shahab-3 ballistic missile on February 23. According to Dani, the tested missile was capable of delivering a nuclear payload as it had a range greater than thousand kilometers and a payload capacity above 500 kilograms. This test was later confirmed in an April 2019 social media post. The UK, France, and Germany wrote a letter to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in December 2019 condemning the launch, noting that the Shahab-3 variant used was equipped with a maneuverable re-entry vehicle and that the Shahab-3 booster used in the test is Missile Technology Control Regime Category 1 system and as such is technically capable of delivering a nuclear weapon. In July 2019, Iran reportedly test-fired a medium-range Shahab-3 missile that flew nearly 1,000 kilometers, according to U.S. officials. In July 2020, the IRGC launched at least two ballistic missiles from covered underground positions, believed to be housed in a desert plateau in central Iran, as part of a military drill. Gen. Amir Ali Hajizadeh, the head of the IRGC's aerospace division, noted this was the first time Iran had launched missiles from underground. The ballistic missile fire resulted in U.S. troops stationed in the United Arab Emirates and Qatar being placed on alert and temporarily taking cover.